So we're told then that n can be greater than or equal to minus 1. So it can be equal to minus 1, so we start at minus 1. But we're less than 4, so we can't be 4. So we go up in whole numbers, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and we stop at 3. Because we cannot, well, let's look at that sign there, cannot be equal to 4, but we can be equal to minus 1. That's why the symbols are different. Right, writing down the inequality shown in the diagram, oh, okay, so we put x is greater than numbers on the left, less than numbers on the right. right we can be, as the um, circle is coloured in, that means we can be equal to 3. Okay. Let's write that again. Okay, we can be equal to 3, but we can't be, we can be greater than or equal right up to minus 4, but we can't be minus 4. That's indicated by the unfilled circle. Finally, on to the inequality, we've got 3y will be greater than 5 plus 2. So when you move something across the inequality sign, just like with an equation, it changes its sign. So that gives me 3y is greater than 7. Let's rub that out. A slightly annoying feature of the iPad. And so y will be greater than 7 divided by 3. And really that is um, the answer if you want to divide your 3 into 7 and write y is greater than 2 and 1 third, that would be dandy.